your Google business listing probably got suspended and you're definitely not alone because a lot of different people have been facing the same issue. But in this video, I want to show you exactly how you can get the GMB listing unsuspended. A couple of things that I'll be discussing in this video are reinstatement request form and also the video verification of your Google business listing. I'm going to walk you through the entire process, but first I want to explain why this is actually occurring right now. Are you actually alone or does this problem happen to a lot of different people? But if you only want to see how to fill out the reinstatement request form, then you can go to this timestamp. I'll add it somewhere here. And uh, for video verification, you can also go to this timestamp. If your Google My Business listing got suspended, I want you to know that you are not alone because a lot of different people are facing the same issues. What I really hate to see is when I go to some Facebook group for landscapers or construction companies and some business owner says, you know, hey, my listing got suspended uh, from nowhere for no reason. Uh, you know, can you guys help me out? And people say that, oh, it's probably your fault because it got suspended. But it's really not your fault because a lot of different business owners have faced similar issues for no reason. I personally work with a lot of different contractors and I've had issues verifying their GMB listing. And even after providing the evidence that the clients, the contractors, uh, Google business listing is absolutely uh, valid that it's a real business, I had cases where they actually just refused to verify it. So it's definitely not your issue. It's an issue with Google. Now, why exactly is Google actually doing this? Well, I am not a conspiracy theorist. Google makes their money from ad revenue, basically by getting people to run ads, whether it's on YouTube, Google search or anywhere else, they make their money from ads. It's not in their best interest for all business owners to get incredible results from their Google business listings. So they have at least a little bit of motivation to make the whole Google business listing uh, process a bit more difficult. Does this mean that you can't get excellent results with having a listing? Does this mean that Google might uh, possibly remove Google business listings in the future? Of course not. At least I'm 99% certain and I know that a lot of different experts in this industry are absolutely certain that Google is not going to remove their Google business listings. Google is a search engine. The reason why everybody's using Google is when you're trying to find results that you're looking for, whether you're trying to learn something, find a video, whatever, you're going to go to Google and you're expecting to see actual results. Seeing ads is one thing. Like if you're not actually looking for a company or something, if you're not looking to buy something, you don't mind seeing ads. But if the only thing you saw are ads, then nobody will be using Google. Pretty much the same thing works for Google business listings. Google My Business is basically a huge business directory. The reason why they created it is probably to counter websites like Yelp and you know similar uh, directory websites because there's a huge need for people to be able to find business directories on the internet. So it will make absolutely zero sense for Google to just remove listings. What Google is probably going to do is they're going to push more ads on Google uh, business listings so that when you search for businesses, you see a lot more ads and all of that because they make money off of that. But they're not going to do that to a point where it's going to completely remove all of the legit businesses that are not running ads because they need that. If people knew that all they're going to see on Google are ads, then nobody would be using Google. They would just move over to Bing or other you know, search engines. Okay, so now that I'm done with my short monologue, how can you actually get your listing unsuspended? You have a couple of options. One of the most common ways of getting your GMB listing unsuspended is by filling out the reinstatement request form. But over the past, uh, I don't know, five to six months, Google definitely automated a lot of their systems. They have fired a bunch of people. And right now, when you fill out the reinstatement request form, it seems like you only get an automated reply from, uh, you know, Google bot basically. And uh, you just, you know, s sit and pray that they're going to reinstate your listing. So it's definitely a little bit more difficult to get your listing unsuspended using the reinstatement request form. But I definitely recommend you to try this method first before trying anything else because most of the time it really does work and it's all you need to do and it's really, really simple. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, below, but I'm also going to show you how to fill out the whole form and I'm going to walk you through the entire process. You first need to make sure that you're logged into the right account when you uh, go and visit this link, the account that manages your listing. But after you do that, you will see this uh, short form. So it will ask you if you already submitted the reinstatement request. You say no. Uh, if you're the official representative of the company, this is basically just to check if you have the authority to represent this whole company and all of that. So just say yes. And here they will ask you if your profile does comply with Google Business Profile Quality Guidelines. Before you submit the form, 
I definitely recommend you to check all of these guidelines, read through this whole document, and uh, modify your Google Business Profile to make sure that you respect all of Google's guidelines. If there is an issue with your profile, like for example, if you're a service area business, which means that you go to your customer's location, but on your profile you added your address, that kind of goes against Google's guidelines actually because they want you to remove your address. So first check all these Google profile guidelines, make sure that you're good and uh, then uh, click on yes. They will also ask you, is your business permanently located at the address? Uh, basically, is the address you added to your listing actually the right address? Say yes. Basically, what some businesses used to do in the past is they would get a PO box or they would uh, get a virtual office or something, but this does go against Google's guidelines. So uh, they're pretty much just asking you here if uh, you entered an accurate address which is pretty much all, almost the same as the previous question. So just say yes. Then they will ask you, does your business operate in a service area? Basically, if you're a plumber, if you're a, a remodeling company that doesn't have your own office, but uh, goes to the customer's uh, location and all of that. So uh, if you're a service area business, they want you to remove your address. So this is probably a way to check that. So if you're a service area business, then say yes. They will also ask you if you conduct face-to-face -face business at your location, which means, uh, in my opinion, do you have an address? So just say uh, no, unless of course you do have an address, so add yes. Do you set your address settings correctly? So if you don't conduct face-to-face -face business at your location, uh, basically this is what I just explained uh, a minute ago, but they just want to ask you if uh, you have an office or not. If you do have an office, then you should add an address. If you don't have an office, then you shouldn't add an address. You should remove the address from your listing and then only add your service area. So most of the companies that I work with are service area businesses. They operate from their homes. There's no need to have an office. So make sure your address settings in your Google Business Profile is set correctly and then click on yes. Then they will also ask you if you have multiple profiles for the same location, which is against Google's guidelines. Make sure you don't, but if you are only creating a listing, then select no. And then they will pretty much just give you this whole form that you have to fill out in order to contact Google support team and to get your listing reinstated. So they will ask you for your name, the official email address that you use to manage your Google business profile, which is, you know, this email that you're currently logged in, hopefully. And then also they will ask you, you know, for your business name, for the service area of your business or for the address, I recommend providing an address. They will also ask you if you manage your profile by going to the business uh, dashboard or if you manage it by going to search or maps. Most of the businesses recently are pushed to use Google search. So if you are, whichever option you select, they will show you exactly how you can get the URL. So you can get it by, if you, if you select the business dashboard, then you can get the URL by, you know, just going to uh, your listing and then copying this URL. If you uh, manage your listing from search, then you can just get this ID and, and any other information from the search. So provide any additional information and then really important part, provide additional context for why you believe your account should be reinstated. So if you just verified your listing and they suspended your account for no reason, explain that. Tell them, listen, you know, this doesn't make any sense. I just received the postcard, I entered the verification code and, you know, my listing got suspended. Um, and then if you do have any documents, I definitely recommend you to attach uh, documents to your, man, this notification, and then this is a really important part, definitely provide more information on why you believe that your listing should be uh, reinstated. And uh, if you just verify your listing and it got suspended for no reason, then make sure to explain that. Tell them this doesn't make any sense. You just received a postcard and uh, your listing got suspended for no reason and all that. So upload some additional documents. So if you have an IEN document, if you have a business license document that shows your address, upload these documents to this reinstatement request form because that will decrease the chances of you reinstating your listing. But recently, because all these systems are really, really automated, even when you provide additional evidence, you will still receive an email from Google that says, oh, we need you to provide additional evidence too, you know? So it's uh, really unreasonable, but you might still receive an email from Google that says uh, literally to upload the same thing. So. Here you can see exactly what kind of business uh, you know, documents you can actually upload, but 
you, you know, if you have any additional documents, you can also send this in an email that Google send you, sends you and most likely you will verify your listing uh, using this method. So this is pretty much how you fill out the reinstating the request form and exactly what you should add. Hopefully this does help. So now uh, let me move on to the video verification. After you fill out the reinstatement request form, you should receive an automated reply from you know Google that basically says that, okay, we got your request, we'll look into it and all of that. And then you might get another email from Google that basically says that you need to provide more evidence to prove that your business is legit. Uh, they might ask for your business license, uh, maybe some pictures of your equipment, uh, your work, uh, maybe your trucks with logos on them and something similar basically. But um, reply to that email, provide the additional evidence and uh, you know, hopefully your listing will be unsuspended. Now on to the video verification method. Now w this method, I wouldn't say it's specifically for unsuspending GMB listings. It's more for uh, verifying your listing in case you don't get a postcard. But you can try using this for you know, these purposes as well. So what you basically do is you go to Google support uh, form and I'll show you that in a minute. And you basically say that you didn't receive a postcard uh, and you want to request a video verification. So I had cases where the client's listing, the contractor that I'm working with, even after I uh, fill out the green statement request form, his listing still remains suspended. So what I do basically, I fill out this form and uh, you know I get that issue resolved. But basically, you know, just fill out the whole form, uh, you know, provide information about your business and then say that you are trying to request a video verification call. The benefits of doing a video verification call is you will actually get in touch with real people. But anyway, let me show you how to request a video verification for your business. So now I'm going to show you how you can request video verification for your business in case you didn't receive a postcard, or you can also try using the same method if your listing got suspended for no reason. So go to the form, I'll add a link in the description of this video, select your business here, and then type in video verification. Click on next. You'll see a couple of different options here, but just select other, click on the next step. And then they will show you a couple of different resources you can uh, you know, use, but just click on the next step because all the stuff is unnecessary. Now click on email so that you can actually contact them. And then here select, okay, so here select my business profile is not verified. This is the option that I used uh, in order to get you know my listings unsuspended. And then you will see this whole form uh, show up here add your name select if you're an owner or if you're uh, if you're working as an agency you know and this is your client add your email address that's used to manage your listing add your phone number uh, add the business name and then you need to make sure that all the information you add here is actually on your listing as well uh, they will ask you for the public URL uh, of your for your business page, but if your listing is suspended or something, then of course, uh, or if your business listing is not verified, you can't get this. So you don't need to add this. Add the website. I definitely also recommend you to build a website beforehand because this way Google can have additional evidence that you are a legit business. And here, where you need to describe your issue, explain that your you couldn't verify your listing, you couldn't receive a postcard and then request the video verification for your business. And then once you're done with filling out this whole form, just click on the submit button. But I definitely recommend you that before you uh, submit this form, check your listing once again and make sure that all the information that's added to your listing does comply with Google's guidelines. Um, then after you submit the form, you'll get an email from Google that you know basically confirms that they received your request then you should hopefully uh, get in touch with the real Google uh, business listing support team and you can schedule the video call. So the reason why I really like video verification is because you just know that you're speaking to a real person instead of a bot. So, uh, but anyway, I really hope this video has been helpful. If you like this video, then hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos on how to grow your business as a contractor and how to get more jobs and all of that. And uh, if you want to work with me and my team, then go to uh, logicalmarketer.net. It's this small uh, link, but you'll have to type it out. But I'll also leave it in the description as well. So thank you for watching and have a great day.